In the video 6 on electrostatics, we will again talk about Coulomb's law. We know for two charges, like or unlike charges, placed in vacuum or in free space, F0 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R square. Suppose if I take these two charges, maybe a positive charge and a negative charge, or positive charge, positive charge, negative, negative charge. If I place these two charges in a medium, air is fine, but I place it in water, then what will happen to force of attraction or repulsion? There is a medium other than the air, then what will be the force which we are going to now calculate? Let us say, if in the medium Fm is equal to 1 upon epsilon, this is permittivity in a particular medium. This is permittivity in free space. Q1, Q2 upon R square. Let me call this as equation 1 and call this as equation 2. Let me do 1 divided by 2. 1 divided by 2 that is Fo upon Fm. Fo upon Fm is equal to, if you see very carefully, 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 upon 4 pi epsilon constant, Q1, Q2, Q1, Q2, same charges, the distance of separation between them is same, so I have got here 1 upon epsilon naught, so let me write it here, 1 upon epsilon naught divided by 1 upon epsilon now, from here, in this step, we move from epsilon upon epsilon naught, right? And this FO upon FM is equal to epsilon upon epsilon naught. This ratio of permittivity in a particular medium with respect to in air is called K. K is called dielectric constant. It depends on the nature of the substance. Okay. What is K? It is dielectric constant. Okay. This dielectric constant can be written as the ratio of epsilon upon epsilon naught. Or uh, it also can be written as the force in air or vacuum upon force in the medium. Now what is the unit? This two being the same, the ratio between the similar quantities, we have no unit for dielectric constant. With this concept, I am going to do a numerical to make it more clear. Let me take a simple numerical and with that you will be able to understand the concept of dielectric constant. Yes. Let me take two charges. Let one charge be 2 micro coulomb. Let the other charge be 1.6 micro coulomb. Let us say they are separated by a distance of 3 cm. Then what will be the force of, uh, let us say they are unlike charges. One is positive and another is negative. What is the force of attraction between them? We can now calculate. So the force of attraction in air FO is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 Q2 upon R square. Let us say Q1 is equal to 2 micro coulomb plus micro is 10 power minus 6 coulomb. Now second one is Q2 that is equal to minus 1.6 micro coulomb multiplied by 10 power minus 6 coulomb. The distance of separation R is equal to 3 cm multiplied by 10 power minus 2 meter in SL unit and 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is equal to 9 into 10 power 9 newton meter square upon 2 root square. Let us substitute the values in the Coulomb's law, the formula. equal to 9 into 10 power 9 multiplied by 
the two charges are 2 into 10 power minus 6 multiplied by 1.6 into 10 power minus 6 whole divided by 3 into 10 power minus 2 the whole square there we are using inverse square law I made the substitution now ok let me now try to do the extra problem 9 into 2 into 1.6 is 3.2 multiplied by 10 power 9 and minus 6 minus 6 minus 12 so 9 minus 12 whole divided by 3 3 3 is are 9 multiplied by 10 power minus 4 so this 9 and 9 gets cancelled so I got the answer 3.2 into 10 power 9 minus 12 minus 3 it goes up plus 4 it comes to be plus 1 which is equal to 32 Newton. So the force is 32 Newton in A that is 32 Newton F0 I will say. Suppose if I place these two charges in water. What is the dielectric constant of water? Let us watch carefully. See here, the dielectric constant of water is, we can say, AT. It's actually 81. For problem's sake, we will take it as 80. We know that the force in a medium is equal to force in air divided by the dielectric constant, which is equal to Force in air is 32 divided by 80, right? And that is nothing but 3.2 divided by 8. That is nothing but 0 0.4 Newton. So, force in the medium is 0 0.4 Newton. Let us watch carefully. Let us understand. The two charges are placed in air and its value is 32 Newton. The force of attraction, but the same charges when placed in water, the value decreases 80 times. It is decreasing by 80 times. The value turns around to be 0.4 Newton. That means the force of attraction has reduced. With this concept of dielectric constant, and here I have taken water as the medium, we have done this numerical. Thank you.